Hey, what's up everyone? It's Austin or Luna here with a new video. Not at 3 in the morning for once, which is just great. I've been uploading really late recently. But anyway, today's video I'm talking about something that's happened to me a couple different times. I get fucked with a lot. I'm sure you all know that by now. I think everyone knows. But I get fucked with a lot. And I've had people literally tip me over in porta potties. Like, that's getting fucked with on a whole new level. I'm talking about one of those experiences today. It's actually a more recent one, which is funny. But yeah, I've been tipped over in porta potties. I remember one time I was asleep and I got put into a fucking drying machine. Obviously, it wasn't on because that's terrible, but, you know, it's still scary waking up in a tiny little space like that. And, you know, at this point, you could say I'm pretty used to being fucked with and just pranked and stuff like that. Occasionally, I'll fuck around with people back, you know, prank them back, stuff like that. But I'm usually a pretty chill dude when it comes to that stuff. But uh, today's video, I was not. And that's why I think it's funny. So about a month and a half ago, I was at a music festival. It was a local music festival. A lot of people from my city were going. Um, no one too big was there or anything. It was just kind of a cool little thing. And I was at two festivals that month. And one of them I took a lot of Snapchats at. It wasn't the one that I was taking Snapchats at. Because I know a lot of people that have me added on Snapchat are going to be like, Oh, I saw that festival. It was on your story. Nah, it's a different one. I went to two. But anyway, the one that I went to that I didn't put any snaps at or any videos at on anything was different just because it was like a local festival. I was with a bunch of people. I didn't want to film anything. The other one was more of like a hyped up one. There was a lot of big bands there, so I was filming it. But anyway, back on track here. Music festivals are fucking disgusting, okay? Let me just get that across. I think you all know that. There's like porta potties everywhere that are just, they look like World War II. I'm not going to lie. They fucking do. I don't mean the whole festivals. I just mean the fucking bathrooms and stuff. Like, the porta potties are so fucking gross. I'm kind of a germ freak. But I think I'd honestly rather shit my pants at this point than use one of them. And I was at this festival. Your boy Luna had a little bit too much water. Okay, he was trying to stay hydrated. And let's just say I overdid it just a little bit, a tad bit. So I had to go to the fucking bathroom. And I was with one of my friends. And I was like, yo, I have to pee really, really bad. I'm going to go get in that long line for the porta potties. I'll be back. He's like, all right, dude. He's like, meet us over here. And he went back with like this huge crowd of people that we were with. And I'm sitting there in line just waiting. And these motherfuckers, out of everywhere at a music festival you could go to smoke a cigarette or smoke weed, I don't know. Just why a porta potty? The porta potty that I was in line for, someone was inside of it baking that fucking shit out, just getting high as fuck in the porta potty, holding everything up. Like there was people that were legitimately like jumping up and down, freaking out because they had to go to the bathroom so bad. And this motherfucker was sitting in the porta potty just getting high, just enjoying himself in a hot ass porta potty. It's so gross to me that anyone would actually want to do that. Now, yeah, I'm kind of a hypocrite little shithead for saying that because I'm not going to lie, I've done that before. I've smoked in a porta potty, but it was a completely different scenario and like. There was people around that would catch us and, you know, rat us out, and I was scared and I was a little bitch. But at this festival, there was literally people on the fucking stage smoking and in the crowd and just walking around, no fucks given, with, like, blunts. They didn't care. So this kid could have just went anywhere and did it, but no, he had to fucking hold up people that were literally about to pee themselves. But anyway, he finally got done, and he walks out. There's literally smoke seeping from it as he walks out, and one girl was like, could you take any fucking longer? She said that to him. She was like, can you take any fucking longer? He's like, shut up. And I just kind of rolled my eyes at him, and he looked at me, and he just gave me this dirty look. And I wasn't trying to be, like, a complete dickhead, but, dude, if you're holding up a whole line of people, I'm kind of going to give you a mean look. And he walks away, and he gets back in line. And I was like, what the fuck is this dude doing? And this motherfucker sits in, like, a 10-minute line. I get up to my turn to go in. I go in, and the shit tips. This fucker didn't like that I rolled my eyes at him, so he waited for me. And when I got in, he tipped it on me. Like, what the fuck, dude? I was literally locking it as he tipped it over. So, like, I almost fell pretty much into all the water and shit. But luckily, I was able to kind of, like, stand on the wall as it was tipping. So, I only really got anything on my shoes. It was just water. And he did tip it backwards, meaning the door was still, like, facing up so I could get out no problem. I've dealt with and had friends deal with it getting tipped over where it's on the door and you can't get out and you have to, like, bust through the top. Pretty terrible stuff. I'm pretty lucky in this situation. But I got out and I was like freaking out at this kid because he fucking tipped a porta potty with me in it. Like keep in mind, the girl that said something to him, he didn't do anything to because I think it was a girl and he just had manners. But no, if Austin's around, we gotta fuck with Austin. That little scumbag rolled his eyes at me for taking too long to smoke a fucking joint in a porta potty. I better tip it on him now. I actually think that's his logic behind the whole thing. Like, oh, he rolled his eyes at me. Time to fucking hurt him. Like, that's so mean. But anyway, I was fighting with this dude. He was claiming that it was an accident. Accident. How do you accidentally tip a fucking porta potty? You know how hard it is to tip a porta potty over? Like, he wasn't that big of a dude either. Like, he probably had to run at it and legit body slam it. But anyway, the people around him saw him do it, so they were backing me up, saying it wasn't an accident. They were fighting with him too. And he just goes, Dude, I'm sorry. Like, you didn't get hurt. It was an accident. And he goes to shake my hand. And he smiles at me like nothing's wrong. And I was like, You know what? 
I thought to myself, I was like, this festival is fun. I don't want to get kicked out. We're drawing attention. I'll shake this dude's hand. If I see him later after the event, I'll talk to him then. I shake his hand. He runs away really fast back into this like crowd of people he was hanging out with by the stage. And when he gets over to them, they all start dying laughing. And I just like got super pissed because I knew that it wasn't an accident. He just lied to me to my face and he lied to everyone else and went back over there and started laughing about it and getting on his phone and probably tweeting about it or some shit. And I saw this and I was like, I think I might get arrested tonight. I'm kidding. That's not my thoughts at all. But I was like, damn, what a fucking scumbag. And I just thought to myself, I was like, I got to get back at him. Like, I, Luna, you're a bitch. You cannot let him get away with this. And these people behind me that were in the line for the porta potty, like, told me what he did. Like, he legit had to body slam it. And then he claimed it was an accident and lied to them. And they were trying to help me. They're like, do you want us to call, like, the police? Like, you could press charges for that shit. I was like, nah, I have something planned. So I run back to my friends and I tell them all about what happened. They look at my shoes and they see that they're all wet and they're like, that's disgusting. And I was like, yeah, I know. I'm pretty pissed about it. And we just schemed. We schemed a whole plan out and you'll hear about that plan in a minute. We, no joke, it's kind of creepy. We kind of slowly stalked behind the person that did this to me and we waited till the moment was right. And we just, we pretty much hid. I'm not gonna lie. We like hid around bushes where the porta potty was and we waited till he got back in line to either A, smoke another fucking joint or B, actually have to pee because I knew this guy would have the urge to get high again sometime through the event or at least have to take a piss so we're just waiting there and sure enough after like 30 minutes it was like 30 minutes of hiding in a hot bush with the sun beating on me he finally goes in line for the porta potty and all my friends are like looking at each other we're literally in an iMessage fucking group chat texting what we're gonna do and I literally just said I was like yo you guys go for it I'm gonna sit back here because I'm you know a weak little bitch and I can't tip anything which is fucking facts okay that's true I'm kind of like you know, not the type of person to be tipping over a fucking huge porta potty. And they kind of made fun of me for that. But I was like, you guys just go for it. You guys got my back, right? And they did. This dude finally got up to go in. The second he opens the door and closes it, my friends all just fucking disperse out of random hiding places and are all running in unison at this porta potty. And they just fucking dive at it and tip this shit over the same way he tipped it over with me. And they, no joke, didn't even give him a chance to react. They were gone. All my friends were running and they were out of the event. They ran out of the fucking event across the street to a burger place. And this one mom was like super angry. She was in line and she didn't even know the dude, but she was trying to chase my friends because, you know, she thought they were like criminals. But in reality, they were just the heroes of the day. And this guy gets out of the porta potty, holding the joint in his hand still, and he's like confused as fuck, looking around. He didn't have much on him either, by the way. Like, he got lucky. He fell kind of the same way I did. I think he did the same exact thing I did. So all that was on him was just like some water on his pants. But he was so confused because he didn't see anything. I was in the bush, so he couldn't see me. And it took him a minute to unlock the door to get out, so he didn't see my friends or anything. And he was just like, what just happened? He was like talking to the people in line. They were telling him what happened. And he just got super pissed, looked around. I watched his facial expression just get so angry because he knew it had something to do with me. And he's like looking around. He's trying to find where I was, and he couldn't because I was an idiot, and I was sitting in a fucking bush like a ghillie. But yeah, he was out of luck. He was looking all around. People that were in the line couldn't see where my friends went because they ran out of the event. And I was just in a fucking bush, just chilling. But anyway, I waited till he gave up and stopped looking for me, and I snuck out of the bush and ran back over to the stage. I called my friends. They came back and met me. We enjoyed the rest of the show, and towards the end of the night, I actually was walking out, and I saw the dude, and I went up behind him, and I tapped him on the shoulder, and I, like, smiled at him, and I, you know, reached my hand out to shake his hand. He then pushed me and looked really, really upset, like he wanted to fight me, but since there was a bunch of people with me and all his friends seemed to have left, he was kind of out of luck. And I'm not at all the type of person to be like, oh, fucking squad up, like, try and fight me. I got the squad. Like, that's not at all what I'm doing. I hate fighting, to be honest. Like, I'll fucking call you and try and work things out before I, you know, try and fist fight you. That shit's stupid to me. But yeah, it ended just kind of like a revenge kind of story, to be honest. He tipped me over in a porta potty over me rolling my fucking eyes at him. Rolling my fucking eyes over a good reason, too. Like, he was holding people up because he was smoking weed in the porta potty. And no, I'm in the wrong here. My poor, poor bladder fucking couldn't handle it anymore. But no, seriously. Yeah, it all ended happily. He didn't get hurt. I didn't get hurt. Still a fucking disgusting experience, and it still sucks to get tipped over in a porta potty. I never recommend any of you doing that. I don't think any of you would, because you're all way, way smarter than me. And no one actually wants to do that, because who the fuck would like that? But yeah, that's pretty much the end of this story. I thought it was really, really funny. It was like the battle of the fucking porta potties, and it makes me laugh every time I talk about it. And it's not the first time some shit like this has happened, which is saddening to say. 
But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like if you did enjoy the video slash story today. Leave your stories in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Peace. What the fuck you want? I got shit to do. I had a dream and a scheme where I put my mom in a penthouse. Need that view. Got a whole team. Yeah, they need that too. Need them M's, nigga. Majin Boo. Quit my job. Yeah, yeah, fuck Sue. I suggest you take a hike if you can't see all the shit. I'm a mountain too. I'm on top. Rain check y'all like a modest stock. When your shit drops, that is not the case. My shit drops like an otter.